I'd like to welcome y'all to Q City World. And today we'll be talking about Sean Porter versus Adrian Granados. He thought it was going to be easy work, but it became very, very difficult at the end. I mean, you sitting up here, Sean, fighting fights, fighters that you think you can beat easy, and you fuck around and break your fucking hand. I tell, I tell you guys this all the time. You feel me? You can't be going out there fighting bombs. I ain't calling Adrian Granados a bomb because he gave you that work. He damn near beat you. He did everything I thought he would do. Even more, I must admit, he did more than what I thought he'd do. He made you look real old, like you lost, like you losing a step. And uh, he even proved me right or even more. I said, you don't have any power, man. You feel me? You, you like a Mike Tyson without power. I mean, if Adrian Granados had any kind of power that could make you respect him, I think he would have fucked Sean Porter up. He would have beat Sean Porter easy. You feel me? He's a 140 fighter, man. Why are you fighting 140 fighters, man? When you already a bully, you bullying 147 fighters. Why the fuck you fighting little dudes? See, that's karma, man. You feel me? See how karma is, man? You sit up here and think you're going to take the easy way out, going to wait to get the money, little money here and there, fight you know, underdogs. You feel me? You don't want to fight the big dogs. You can't. But I ain't going to lie, man. Adrian Granados. Show Keith Thurman, show everybody, any up and coming fighter, they, that's the blueprint on how to beat you, man. You feel me? You looked it real bad. You didn't look like who I thought you would have looked like. You ain't look like you did against Berto, even though you tried to come in with your head and shit. And you was coming in head first, smashing Granados, but the referee wasn't fucking with you, but he was on Granados' head, man. That shit was fucking retarded, man. It was weird. But you know, that's just the way the game go, man. A side, I guess. You know some real shit? I think Danny Garcia would be Sean Porter, man. For real. Real easy, man. I think Danny Garcia got enough power to make Sean Porter respect him, man. And I think he got enough defense to dodge a lot of Sean Porter punches, man. You feel me? I think that fight might be next, but now that Sean Porter done fucked his hand up, his million dollar hand, he done fucked up fucking around with it underdog that everybody knew he was gonna be this is you know what i mean proof man you feel me that you gotta take the good fights while you're healthy you feel me while you're young you know what i mean take the best fights you can get don't wait till you get 35 36 years old and then try to fight earl spence and then when you lose to earl spence they're gonna say sean porter was old but you know what i mean what you gonna be like shane mostly when you fought floyd you feel me you, you, man you looking like shane mostly right now man you ain't looking like an A fighter, man. You looking more like a B fighter. Looking more like a journey, man. You know what I mean? You're a gatekeeper. You're not, not a journey. You're a gatekeeper. That's what you is. You know what I mean? If you a star, you got to beat Sean Porter. Then you can fight Danny Garcia and keep them. You feel me? I really, really believe Danny Garcia can knock Sean Porter out. Matter of fact, my money, if they ever fight, what's going on? Danny Garcia, real talk. I feel that real. I feel comfortable with that bet. I mean, what can I say, man? Shout out to Sean Porter, man. You had a wonderful career, man. You was the bully for a long time, man. You feel me? I always looked at you like as one of Al Heyman hitmans or something. You know what I mean? If Adrian Bronner start fucking up, going to jail and shit, you gotta put him in line. Send Sean Porter on him. You feel me? Andre Berto wanna go out. You know what I mean? On top, he got the Floyd fight, so you know he got to take his blood sacrifice, put him in the ring against Sean Porter. You know what I mean? Sean Porter was the hit man, but now nah, he's the damn. After the eleven round, he was the quit man. Goddamn! I mean, that motherfucker ran around the ring. That motherfucker ran around the ring, man. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. You feel me? But I peeped out. I peeped that his hand was hurt when um, Kenny Porter was in the corner. I was like, man, just use your left hand. You know what I mean? That boy was ready to cry out there, boy. His hand was motherfucking aching. I feel him, though, man. But, you know, that's why I like Deontay Wilder, though, man. Them niggas' hands be fucked up, and they still be knocking niggas out with the hand that's broke, man. You feel me? That's just amazing, man. It's like, you know what I mean? Jordan playing in the playoffs, scoring 50 points with the flu. You feel me? <laughs> 
It's just crazy, man, how the elite fighters can still keep going. I know Floyd didn't hurt his hand in, in the middle of fights. Once some hands go bad down there, that might be a problem, man, for a long time, man. And don't forget how you fucked your hand up. You ain't fucked your hand up fighting a quality fighter, you know what I mean, like Earl Spence or even, you know, just a quality fighter that everybody thought that maybe could beat you. I could think of a few fighters that could probably beat you, but you didn't fight one of them. I knew that Adrian Ganados was too small, man. You know what I mean? Adrian Bronner damn near beat him better than you did, you know what I mean? More than you did, but that was a close fight against him, Adrian Bronner, but man, your style is so awkward that a boxer, man, really got to adapt to your style. And Adrian Gonzalez did a great job adapting to your style. By the sixth round, he had you down. He knew how to move. He, sh he did a lot of showmanship. He did good, man. He just ain't had no power to make you respect him. But he did hit you a couple times that made you back the fuck off. And at the end of the fight, man, you know, I, I mean, I feel your hand fucked up. I, I can't really go hard on you. You ain't, you ain't used to your hands being broke. You probably never had a broke bone in your life, so. How you dealt with it was how you dealt with it. I'm just saying, man. You feel me? You dealt with it real, real cupcake, man. That was real sweet how you dealt with it. But, you know, maybe if I broke my shit, I'd probably do the same thing. I don't know. So what's the lesson of the day? You feel me? Don't, if you're an NBA player, don't go to the YMCA and play against people that play on their spare time, your legs, your ankle, your hands. Everything is worth too much money to be playing against people at the YMCA. You feel me? So make sure all your fights is quality. You feel me? Floyd fought Corrales. Floyd fought so many from Gotti. He fought so many big fights, man. That's what y'all don't really recognize. Y'all think that doing what Danny Garcia do is smart. That's not smart. That's really putting wear and tear on your body fighting against fighters that, you know, don't deserve to fight you. Maybe they should fight up and comer, up and coming fighters. You know what I mean? I could see Ganados versus Terrence Crawford at 147 or something like that. Cause Terrence Crawford moving to 147 or something. But come on, man, you've been bullying 147 fighters all your career. You know what I mean? Well, we're not really that. You really only beat 140 fighters. You feel me? I think Devin Alexander was a 140 fighter, man. I don't know. If I'm right. I might be wrong, but. I know probably my Najee really was. He never had power. You feel me? So yo Marlon, yo running into him head first, man, was the perfect style to beat Pauly, cause Pauly couldn't keep you off of him. You feel me? That was just like Lumacheco going up to like Lumacheco going up to 154 fighting Charlos, you feel me? Come on now, bro. Of course you're gonna of course you're gonna knock Lomo out. Lomo will come in there, do all his little moves around, circle around him, throw his little combinations, hit him a thousand times, but it ain't gonna hurt him. All he gotta do is just maul him into the corner and just pound on him like how you did Pauly And don't forget how you did A B. That you did A B so wrong, man. You just you just man, just just mauled him, man. You just ran in head first, man, and just threw your punches. So crazy, it was just a horrible fight. And then the post fight interview just blew me out the motherfucking water, man. I'm like, damn, do he got any real motherfucking friends, man? You feel me? Dude, is there any people around them that keep it real with them two motherfuckers, man? Like, y'all, bro, why the fuck is you standing behind your son while he do his post fight interview, bro, at the podium, bro? I never seen that shit in my fucking life. I never seen. You motherfuckers is like Siamese twins, bro. A two-headed dragon, motherfucker. You feel me? When he take a shit, you take a shit looking at him, motherfucker. If he, his stomach growling, your stomach growling, goddammit. Damn, boy, y'all boys is connected from the head, man. Right? About it from the neck. Y'all got two heads on one body, goddammit. I ain't never seen no shit like that, man. And then you saying that, you know what I mean? You're past the IBF. You only want the IBF champion no more. You've been there, done that. Now you just going for the WBC. I mean, like, dude, what are you talking about, bro? Like, I mean, bro, you just broke your fucking hand, bro. What you mean that fight not worth it? The fight you just fought wasn't worth it. Your fucking hand is broke. What more can I say, man? Do not hurt your body out there. 
at the YMCA, playing with people that do this shit on their spare time. Adrian Granados is a great fighter. His first fight at 147 shouldn't have been at with your wild, crazy ass. That proves that they want to give you some kind of advantage. They know you're slipping. Maybe you overworking. You said you've been in training camp ever since the beginning of August, bro. You burnt out, man. You feel me? You burnt out. Oh, yeah. And at that press conference, those uh, reporters was asking you questions this time. You couldn't get away without answering that question. You you had to answer some questions, you know. Your answers was very weak, but at least you had answers, you know. But it didn't make any sense, you know what I mean? I, I've been there, done that. What the fuck? Now I want the WB. You've been there, done that. You've been there and fought Keith Thurman already. you done that already. <laughs> I mean, what is you? It make no sense, bro. You been there, done that. Kenny Porter, if we can't fight Danny Garcia. Why are you saying Danny Garcia? Danny Garcia do not want to fight you, dude. Obviously, even though he'll beat you. I mean, maybe Danny Garcia hit his video, man. Think about it, man. It probably has some nuts to fight him after the fucking Brandon Rios fight. The only thing, this motherfucker broke his hand, man. Damn. <laughs> Fighting an underdog. Well, you know, that's what karma. I call karma, man. You know, ain't nothing easy in life, man. Ain't nothing easy, man. Quit trying to take the easy way out. You no, know, in life, sometimes you got to take a risk. Sometimes you got to put it all on the line, man. You feel me? Make your blood rush, man. It's like gambling. You feel me? You need to try it, Sean, man. You need to take some risk in life, man. Quit trying to only fight fighters that you think you can fight or you think you can beat. Your dad is acting like a real dad. It's not, I don't think it's good for your dad to be advising. You feel me? Because he's thinking with emotions. You feel me? He ain't got that Eddie Hearns in you. Send your ass out there with GGG and shit. <laughs> Eddie Hearns don't give a fuck about you, motherfucker. You know what I mean? It's all about the motherfucking money. God damn it. But what more can I say, Sean Porter? You, you, you really did beat, you know what I mean? You beat the boy, man. To me, you beat him. You feel me? But if, that was, if you would have fought Danny Garcia in that same fight, that them cards probably would have went to Danny Garcia. You feel me? You wouldn't be able to beat Danny Garcia fighting the way you fought Granados. And that's all I got to say, man. Adrian did a great job, man. You know what I mean? And Sean, man, you know, I hope your hand get better, man, so you can get a good fight. You know what I mean? Uh, I think Danny Garcia might take that fight, you know, but I think he's the one that's gonna get that Keith Thurman fight first. So, I mean, you just need to start thinking about what you're gonna do, man. Think about how you look, man. How you look with your dad sitting next to you on every fucking interview. You can't be a man, dog. You're a grown man, dog. Tell dad to be your advisor, play the background. Be more exclusive. I mean, I can understand a father, man. Like, that's how a father and a son supposed to be. But really though, man, if you're a father and you want to be like that with your son, you want to be that much in this life, you want to make decisions for a grown man. Just think when you die or something, man, that boy ain't going to know what to do. You feel me? If something happened to Kenny Porter, what the fuck would Sean Porter do, man? You need to get this man his independence, man. Let this man be a man. Let him answer the tough questions. You know what I mean? You, you, you play the background and just advise him. An advisor do not have to show their face. You feel me? Everybody want to be famous. You feel me? The real motherfuckers that know the truth don't want to be famous. That's why Al Heyman ain't motherfucking famous. That's why Q City World ain't motherfucking famous. Because we know the motherfucking truth. You know what I mean? Because every player need a coach. You feel me? Because when you're in the game, you can't see everything that's going on around you. You feel me? You need somebody to be standing, watching everything that's going around, giving you the best advice. Calling time out. Bro. You need to cut off his left hand. He going to the he going to the left on you, man. Make him go right. You feel me? Trap him. You feel me? Gonna be seeing shit you don't see. So to have smart people around, your dad around you is great. But for your dad to talk for you is lame. And I'm just keeping it real with you, my man. You know what I mean? And I like to thank you guys for coming to Q City World. Tell that boy Sean Porter, we own his ass.